Alright, in case it wasn't obvious, today's episode of Rogue and Paladin is going to be about Pokemon. I'm Rogue. I'm Paladin. And today is all about Pokemon because everybody loves Pokemon. Do we still, though? That's what we're here to find out today. Alright, so Pokemon's been around for just over 20 years now. 1995, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, I believe so. Uh, so what was your first introduction to Pokemon? A Walmart employee gave me a poster. That's this, random. Yeah, this was I was in I was in first grade, so yeah I was I would have been I was seven yeah I was seven at the time. A Walmart employee was handing out posters as we walked in. Okay. And I, I liked Squirtle. I had a pet turtle at the time. I liked turtles. I'm like oh look, look it's a blue turtle. That's kind of cool. My dad ended up turning it into a reading exercise and sounding things out. Wasn't that wasn't that around the time the first movie came out? Because I believe the first movie came out in two thousand. Yeah, it would have right? been. Yeah, it would have so been, been. It would have been later that year that the first movie came out. So yeah. the posters were probably a promotion for that. Well, because it was just a it was a list of all hundred and fifty. I don't think it yeah, had Mew. It, I've I don't think it had Mew. I've seen that poster actually. Yeah, it's, it's it's still up in your room, isn't it? It, it? It's not that one, actually. It's my, a different one. Yeah, my dad got me that one. He just came home with it one day. I guess he saw it at probably Walmart, honestly, and he's like, "Oh, hey, hey, he'll like that." So yeah, I I do I do still have that up in my room. We did go see the first movie. My dad fell asleep. He was the sacrifices people probably, make for their kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, my first introduction to Pokemon was I I want to say it was the show, but I think now that I think about it, I think it was the trading card game. My family was living in Germany at the time, and they were really I was also in first grade, and they were really. The cards were really popular, and it wasn't really, like, about, like, the rarity of the cards to an eight-year-old. It was, like, about who had the most Pokemon cards. Because none of us knew how to play the game. No, yeah, because the game is... Honestly, it's really complicated. It's, it's more complicated than Magic. It's been simplified significantly since then. Uh, at one of your parties a couple years ago, uh, somebody pulled me aside and uh, taught me how to taught me how to play the game on the spot. You know, it's a lot simpler than it is used it, to be. Is it, is it more simple than Magic? Yeah. Okay, oh, wow, yeah. okay. Then, yeah, then it's much simpler than I remember. Yeah, because I, I remember the rule book being, like, as thick as a deck of playing cards. I remember cards me and my and, sister like, trying to figure out how to play it, and it... It didn't go it, well. It, it, it didn't work. We couldn't do it. All right, so... So, Pokemon in... Pokemon is obviously from the Japanese company, Game Freak, an offshoot, of, you know, owned by Nintendo, and so Nintendo owns the soul of Pokemon. And a lot of western introduction to pokemon sort of began with a television show and the television show sort of acted as a commercial it's still a commercial i mean well, yeah the show it's a, it's the a show's been going for, on now for for 20 years there's almost i think there's about 900 episodes of it jeez it's longer than one piece isn't it it is longer than one piece so far is it one... is it the longest running anime uh if you would consider it an anime is it the longest running anime of all time i think think so don't quote me on it but yeah it I'm might sure. be it's we should than, look that up it's long it's longer than naruto uh, and which, naruto and one piece are like filler the anime there's one a lot piece, of filler one piece is apparently not actually my brother and my cousin have seen every episode up to what's currently oh, airing geez, how do you have that much free time well my cousin watched it over the course of uh about a decade my brother is in high school oh uh, well <laughs> you know, free time so so the show comes out and it's a commercial for for Pokemon, for the, the video merchandise, games. you know, the video game, the trading cards, the the toys, the books, the the everything, everything Pokemon related, and so the show comes on and kids sit their children down in front of the television to keep them distracted for an hour. It, Pokemon comes on and suddenly everybody's got you know Pokemon fever. It blew up. There was especially a... in two thousand. And two thousand was when it really, really took off. Do you remember the AP World History book? They had a little bit about Pokemon yes, in it. They did, you're right. I remember the little blurb in the corner talking about um Pikachu was like on Time magazine or yeah, something. There was, it was a on picture, the cover of Time. Yeah, there was a uh I remember seeing that issue of Time too. It was a it was a picture of Pikachu like superimposed over like all the other Pokemon and it was only the original 150 at the time, and now how now how many are there? There's like I've honestly lost. Something? I've got five hours put into Pokemon Moon, and I've had that game since it came out. So and so yeah, so Pokemon Red and Blue, and then Gold, Gold Silver, and Silver and Crystal, and Crystal Ruby Sapphire, Ruby Sapphire Emerald. Emerald. 
Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. Black, black and White. And white black sequels. and White 2. They never had a gray version. X and Y. With no Z version. And now Sun and Omega, Moon. Ruby, Alpha, oh, Sapphire. Yeah. And then Sun and Moon. And Fire Red and Leaf Green were in there somewhere. They were after Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Okay. I never played them. I always wanted to get my hands on a copy of Fire Red, but I never played it. But I, had I remember having Pokemon Blue version. And I got it when I first got my Game Boy when we were living in Germany. And my parents were like sort of taking us me and my sister you know across europe and of course we're six and four at the time we don't give a shit and my mom i remember the other day i was i was watching a video about pokemon and she looks up and she's like are you watching a video about pokemon i'm like how in the hell do you know that like my mom is 57 year old woman who's like never played pokemon she she remembered the the battle sound, right? <laughs> because she heard it the whole time we were in the car for so many years, and so so it's been so it's been a little over twenty straight years of Pokemon, and we essentially we grew up with Pokemon. Yeah, I was six then, and you know, Sun and Moon came out last year. Yeah, that was my that was my entirety of of high school. Uh, I'm, I'm always behind on. Uh... Uh, on game consoles, handhelds. It's only recently. Uh, I got my first Game Boy Color when the Game Boy Advance came out, and my cousin gave me his Game Boy. And then my cousin gave me her copy of Yellow Version. Uh, my yeah, my other cousin gave me her copy of Yellow Version. And you defeated Brock with Pika- with only Pikachu that knew Slam. I had to teach him Slam. I was it was hopeless. My cousin had lost all of her money to Brock. She had no items. Because you're fighting Brock, who uses rock-type Pokemon with an electric mouse. Yeah. I w- oh, my gosh. I was... I was. You were salty. You were no, a salty kid. I was ill. I was so happy when Pikachu learns his move that was better than Quick Attack, because none of the other moves could do anything to Brock's Pokemon. And... Because they were rock-type. Yeah, and, and Pikachu that... Pikachu was an electric mouse. That $1,000 Brock gave me was, I mean, going from zero to 1000 oh, it was, the, it was the most incredible the, feeling. The best feeling. So anyway, so we're not here to talk about Pikachu defeating Brock, because it doesn't actually ever happen. Um, we're here to talk about, is, is, it, is Pokemon over? It's not over. It's still a multi-billion dollar... Uh, Would you say billion? Really? Oh, oh yeah. Billion dollar industry? Oh, yeah. The amount... Worldwide? Oh, yeah. Yeah, worldwide, worldwide, worldwide I, could, it's I defini- could get on board the billion. It's track. definitely a multi-billion dollar franchise. But, I mean, with me anyway, I don't know how most other people feel about this, but, I mean, me personally... Like as I said er- a little earlier on, like I've had I got Moon when it came out, and I've got maybe five hours in the game. I'm I'm honestly just kind of burned out of the whole. I'm I'm burned. I'm really kind of burned out of the series. The thing I like about the thing I liked about Moon, um, because I picked up Moon the day it came out. I remember I had it pre-ordered. Right. And the thing I liked about Moon was. It changed the formula just enough, and the story was just different enough from the sort of standard Pokemon that it kept things fresh and interesting for me. And so I I got into it and kept going. And I, I really enjoyed the story of Moon, honestly. Um, more so than most of the other Pokemon games. Because if you remember, Red and Blue, Red and Blue didn't, didn't really, really have, have a story. story. You sort of fought and defeated Team Rocket, you know, sort of on your way to becoming Pokemon League champion. Gold and Silver had a bad story. Gold and Silver story was garbage. Uh, I like Ruby the... Sapphire was about it was... real real events like eco terrorists. Eco terrorism. It was pretty and... decent. I mean, for my fifth grade mind. And then you get to X and Y, and like the kill everyone. The leader of Team Flare wants to murder every single living thing on the planet. Yveltal the Death Machine. Jeez, I remember seeing that and being like, what the hell? This is Pokemon. I like, always, this is real dark. I always liked it how right after you catch Yveltal and Shauna's like, oh, it's so cool that the legendary Pokemon wanted to be your friend and not like, you sure you want to keep the flying holocaust in your pocket? Jesus. Oh <laughs> man, I remember, I remember that and being like, I don't know, but remember it 
And then I can yeah. scratch his neck and feed him pink cupcakes, and he'll be very happy. The the I remember <laughs> the hardware though, because I've played both X and Y. And I remember the hardware not being able to keep up with Yveltal's wings flapping no. because he was so large. He's even killing my DS's hardware. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's so strong, he breaks the fourth wall into your into your real life to kill the hardware of your handheld. But I can I can sort of see how how people are becoming burnt out. Pokemon Go was huge. For a summer. For five minutes, People yeah. that weren't Pokemon fans currently, but had been maybe in the past, picked it up and made Nintendo, what, a billion dollars in 24 hours or something like that? Yeah, their, their uh, Niantic stocks shot up and then plummeted because there were so many problems with it. Right. Well, there's nothing to do. Right. There's nothing to do. I catch Pokemon. Okay, what do I do with them? Nothing. You, you battle, which is tapping and swiping on the screen right. and there's taking no... over territory it's a gang war that it's people... a ga- it's a it's a virtual gang war although i do like the uh i do like the um the map of the united states after the most recent election and it, the <laughs> caption says lol instinct still doesn't have any gyms because they're all red and blue and there's no yellow yeah <laughs> i mean i haven't I haven't been to a convention in a while, so I don't know what the general like enthusiasm for it is. Cause, enthusiasm for Pokemon. Because I, I went to, I went to a convention uh, when Pokemon Go came out, and oh my was that, gosh, that was, was the it one Oticon, with the or was yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Th- that was the one with the Team Mystic dabbing guy. Oh my gosh, I remember <laughs> that guy. The Team Mystic I dabbing. Remember guy. That story. There was a. I, I was sitting. I was waiting. I was waiting for my group to get out of uh, to get out of a panel, and. It was a con. It was a music video competition. Then I had just come from a, a concert. I think it was and whatever. And I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm on my phone. And there's this guy going around to all the people sitting around. And he's, he's and everybody's on their phone because they're all playing Pokemon Go. Yeah, either that or they're you know talking to people or whatever. I don't remember what I was doing. But he he goes up to people and he's like, "Oh, Team Mystic, Team Mystic." And like he would like like go up to someone like Team Mystic, and they would go either like yeah, yeah or, or no. no. And every time somebody said yeah, they'd be like oh, Team Mystic, yeah, dab. And he would dab and yell. He would yell it and he would do it, and then just he would move on to the next like person or group of people. Then he comes up to me and he's like Team Mystic. I'm like yeah. He's like dab Mystic. Like, that was weird. Dabbing is I, I gotta I gotta interrupt you to say that dabbing is one of the fucking dumbest things <laughs> ever. What what is it? Like I don't know. What is dabbing? What's wasn't it popularized by somebody from the NFL? I don't touchdown fucking dance? know. Like what is dabbing? Like what is what? Uh. <laughs> is it like punching someone in the face that's taller than you? Like I don't. Know. I don't know. Whatever. This video is not a, or this this podcast is not about dabbing. Do an episode we'll about, dabbing. about dabbing. <laughs> okay, but Pokemon. But po- so Pokemon Go came out and then it sort of caught everyone's att- interest for a summer and everyone, you know, like sort of was like, "Oh, Pokemon Moon and Pokemon Sun and now they have like Pokemon Duel and Pokemon Shuffle and Pokemon fucking everything." Like it it's sort of like re-energized the 2000 pokemon fever but it was like it was like an earthquake like if 2000 was the major pokemon earthquake then the 2016 pokemon go was like the aftershock and so i think people people burnt themselves out of pokemon much faster because everyone that got on the pokemon hype train this time had had already been on the Pokemon hype train previously, and then you get people like me who, when I was in high school, it's I didn't. Always, you always start that, and then you get people like me. It's always it's kind of creepy sometimes. <sighs> anyway, sorry, go ahead. When I was in high school, I didn't have. Uh, I have what I still had my GameCube. I had a Wii and my DS, and I didn't have a lot of the games I wanted to play. Uh, so I played a lot of Pokemon. I've got. What I had, I, I logged maybe what four hundred fifty hours into Pearl. Jeez, I can't imagine that. And that, no, that's Pearl alone. I mean, I, I can't probably even had imagine four hundred fifty hours of Pearl. I probably had about a hundred hours in Emerald, a hundred and fifty in Ruby, maybe. Because Diamond and Pearl were some shit. Honestly, 
Like, if you want to get down to it, those games were some shit. There were like eight HMs. That's bullshit. <laughs> Rock climb. That's fucking bullshit. That was ridiculous. I remember playing Pearl and being like, I have to have a Pokemon on my team that only knows HMs. Bit off. Perfect. Oh, man. And maybe a Geo. Fucking dude. useless. Anyway. And, yeah, I have, I have, I have a lot of hours logged into Pokemon games in total over the course of my life. In case you haven't noticed, Paladin doesn't really get out much. <sighs> or you did, okay, okay, you didn't really get out much. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Anyway. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Are, are, is Pokemon over? Is it, you know, has it reached its plateau point? Or? It's definitely not over, but I think that in the next couple of years, we'll see probably some more burnout from the fans. Because, like me, for example, I've, I've put in all my time. It's been the same throughout, I mean, I mean, they're not going to reinvent the formula of the games, and I mean, they don't need to, but I've already played so much of the games that I'm just, I'm just, not, they, I'm just not interested in But anymore. Pokemon continues to attract younger audiences, and the younger audiences will follow it for as long as we did, or a shorter period of time, or a longer period of time. And so as long as Pokemon can, as long as they can keep coming out with the next Trubbish or <laughs> vanilla ice cream cone based Pokemon, clink, as long as they clang, can, clink, clang. as long as they can keep coming up with random ass shit to give a face, <laughs> they, they will continue making Pokemon games and Pokemon, I think will continue to be as popular as it can be while it can be. But it'll be to different people. I don't know. Only, only time will tell. Right. So, uh, let us know what you guys think. Like, is is Pokemon going to die soon? Like, has it reached its peak? Or is the best still yet to come? Let us know what you think. Uh, and we'll see you next time on Rogue and Paladin.